Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation, was an anti-colonial nationalist who embraced non-violence as a tool to attain freedom for his motherland. A staunch believer in non-violence and truth, he began and continued a resistance campaign against the British till the end. A lawyer by profession, he changed with the times and with a politician, a social activist and a writer simultaneously. Immensely loved and deeply respected political and spiritual leader of his times, he helped and led the Indian masses through a non-violent resistant movement to attain freedom. The world bows to his greatness, to his countrymen, he is Bapu or father of the nation. He was born at Porbandar, Gujarat on 2nd October 1869 to Karamchan Gandhi and Putlibai. His mother was his father's fourth wife and she was from an affluent Vaishnative family. This background influenced Mohandas deeply. The stories of Shravan Kumar and Harish Chandra affected him and made him realize the importance of truth at an early age. His father was the Diwan of Porbandar. He was married to Kasturba at the tender age of 13. This disturbed his studies for some time. Kasturba supported Mohandas in all his decisions until her demise in 1944. Together they had four sons, Manilal, Harilal, Devdas and Ramdas. Mohandas did his early schooling at a school in Rajkot where he studied history, geography, arithmetic and languages. Later he shifted to a high school situated in Rajkot. His marriage affected his education but he rejoined school and completed his education. In 1888, he joined the Samaldas College in Bhavnagar. He was unsatisfied with his education. He convinced his parents and managed to go to London to study law. Before leaving for London, he promised his family that he would not touch non-vegetarian food, women and wine. In London, he joined Inner Temple Law College and also joined a Vet Society. People in the society introduced him to the Bhagavad Gita. The Bhagavad Gita influenced him deeply. In May 1893, he left for South Africa to establish his law practice. He had a terrible experience of racial discrimination in South Africa. Despite holding a first-class train ticket, he was not allowed to travel in the first class as the compartment was reserved only for white people. In those days, Indians and blacks were prohibited from entering or traveling in the first class. It was an eye-opening and humiliating experience for Mohandas. He later realized that it was a common occurrence and Indians were treated in the derogatory manner there. Deeply affected Gandhi formed the Natal Indian Congress on 2nd May 1894. He strived hard to improve the rights and conditions of Indians in South Africa. Soon he became a leader of the Indian community there. Trikula is ancient Indian literature scripted initially in Tamil and later translated into different languages. The ancient wisdom in the book influenced Mohandas. The idea of Satyagraha appealed to him and in 1906 he arranged a non-violent protest in South Africa against the injustice and discrimination suffered by the Indians and the Africans. After spending 21 years of his life in South Africa, he returned to India in 1915. He was a changed man, years of fighting the system for the civil rights of his people, achieving some and being refused much had given him new wisdom and confidence. After returning to India permanently, he joined the Indian National Congress. Gopal Krishna Gokhale was his mentor at that time. In 1917-1918, Gandhi led the Chamanpara agitation of Bihar and the Kheda agitation of Gujarat. He initiated and led other non-cooperation movements, civil disobedience movement, Swaraj and Quit India movement. 
The dream of Indian independence became a reality in 1947, but the joys were drowned in sorrow as the rights continued on either side of the border. Mahatma Gandhi was very disappointed and unhappy, and he fasted and appealed to his countrymen to make peace. It was a very crucial time for the country. Amid such disappointments and grief, Mahatma Gandhi was assassinated in New Delhi on 30th January 1948 in the compound of Birla House. He was 78 years of age and his assassin was Nathuram Vinayak Godse. The Birla House where Gandhi ji was assassinated has been established at Gandhi Smriti.